Number nine, identify and label the Bronsted Lowry acid, its conjugate base, and the Bronsted Lowry base and its conjugate acid in each of the following equations. And then we have this equation right here. O2 minus plus H2O yields 2 OH minus. Now, if I look back at the question, right, I need to identify one, two, three, four things. But in my equation here, I only see three different species, right? I see an O2 minus, an H2O, and an OH minus. Where are they getting the fourth one from? Oh, there was a two here. So I secretly have two of the same ion. So I'm gonna write it. My new equation is O, two minus, plus H2O yields OH minus plus, whoop, plus another OH minus. OH minus plus OH minus gives me two OH minus. I think it's easier to work with this one because you can clearly see the two OHs. And now I can choose my pairs. Now the first thing to do is pick the pair that goes together. But since you have the same, you know, the same one on the product side, it just seems that one oxygen, right, the O2 minus, is going to hook up with one of the OHs, and the other pair is that the H2O hooks up with the other OH minus. Okay. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to write the word conjugate on the product side. Anytime that you have a conjugate base or a conjugate acid, those are always on the products. So I know that this OH minus has to be a conjugate and the other OH minus has to be a conjugate as well. I just don't know whether which one is the, you know, acid or the base. Now on the flip side, the actual Bronsted Lowry acids and bases, those are always on your reactant side. So O2 minus has to be a Bronsted Lowry something. I just don't know which one it is. And the same thing for the H2O. It's got to be a Bronsted Lowry, which is BL. Uh, something. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to analyze the pairs and call which one is the acid and which one is the base. Now keep in mind down here that acids always have one more hydrogen than its respective conjugate base and bases always have one less. So it's basically the same thing just in reverse. So acids always have one more hydrogen, bases will always have one less hydrogen than its conjugate acid. So between O2 minus and OH, I mean, this one has no hydrogens and this one has one. Acids will always have one more. So if that's the case, this has to be the acid and it's a conjugate acid because it's on the product side. And if this is the acid of the pair, this has to be the base. Now we do the same thing with the other pair. The acid will always have one more hydrogen. H2O has two hydrogens. OH minus just has one. Acids will always have one more. So this has to be the acid. It has two hydrogens and not one. And then OH minus, this has to be the base. And notice that for each side, you only have one acid and one base. So if you get an answer on a quiz or test where you have two acids on one side or two bases on one side, stop and go back. Something went wrong. You're only allowed one base, one acid on one side and the other side as well. So hopefully this makes sense. And before we sign off, I'm just going to say that here was one pair and here was the other pair. And now we're officially finished. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments uh, thank you for coming to this YouTube channel and learning with us. I hope we're giving you great educational content. Keep studying hard, and I will see you in later lessons. Au revoir. <laughs> Bye.